Welcome to my video series where I'll be teaching you how to create custom authentication using PostgreSQL and Next.js. Hold on just one second. I am offering free coaching to those of you who need help in JavaScript development, Flutter development, and most front-end or full-stack JavaScript frameworks. If you're not opposed to receiving some help, message me through Discord at 8dang. I'll be sure to include my tag below, but remember, I might not be able to help with everything, but I'll try my best. But with that out of the way, let's get back into the video. So I already have this code running right here and I have the terminal running already. So you see that we go to home page and it's just some simple text and we can navigate to the sign up or login page. But if we go to the account page, it redirects us back to the sign up page because we're not logged into an account. So then let's just create an account right here. So we say right there and we just create whatever password and you see, welcome back Daniel. And then we have the session validated and we could even go to sign up or log in and we'll be redirected back to the account page. And you can see that we have the cookie maintained because we could go to the storage and look at the cookies and we have the token right here. So then we could even log out and we could go back to the login page and then we could log into the same account that we created. So you see our information is stored again and everything in here is done with Postgres, SQL, and Next.js form actions. So, I hope you guys are excited for my video series. I know that I am too, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys.